All right, guys, this is Josh Johnson back again with another 180 Wave video. I'm going to show you all my morning routine for 180 Wave. So make sure you like, comment, subscribe, ask me any questions down in the comment box below. Check the description box. And uh, yeah, let's get right into it. So, generally, I'm not a morning person. Like, with being 100, I never really feel the morning routine all the way through. But I wanted to show y'all guys, like, what I do and, like, really kind of like what you should do, too, like, to kind of help y'all with your ways to get faster pro progress. But basically, I just brush my teeth. I wake up, you know, kind of grog and everything. I check my phone, uh, and I also use uh, the Crest 3D White. It's a charcoal one. That's actually good. It's really good. It tastes good too. So I use that as like pretty much a black toothpaste. But um, yeah, I do that. I'm getting ready for my day. Like I'm just trying to figure out what I'm gonna do. Figure out what I need to focus on. Get some goals out the way. Like figure out what I want to get on on my next project. So. I do that, everything's fine, you know, brush my teeth, checking out, it's morning time, people are talking to you, you know, you're trying to figure out what you're going to do, it's just like, I don't know, a lot of people have a lot of energy in the morning where I'm at, I don't know why, they're just like, hey, how's it going, like, just yelling, asking questions and everything, but nonetheless, you know, in the morning you got to do what you got to do, so brush my teeth i'm um, very happy my happy my durag didn't come off and this is why i tell you guys to wear your durag as much as possible like day in and day out uh because when you do that your hair is going to be laid like it is right now like as you know i didn't do anything i just really just took it off this was like overnight i made sure i tied it right i did a video on that if you do want to check that out it's going to be on my channel but you know when you wear your durag consistently you save a lot of time because you don't have the brush as much in a sense of getting your pattern together like pretty much the waves are going to be saved so you know make sure you wear your durag as much as possible wear it every night do not skip a night i'm telling you guys keep it on but um pretty much on this process i take out the durag get ready for my shower but um i just look at my pattern to see like okay one of the waves i'm probably going to do a higher fade i figure out my fade and then i brush my Torino pro I use a curved brush. I don't recommend a soft brush just because if you do want to switch to 360 waves later, a curved brush is going to be able to get those angles the best. So definitely invest in one of those if you can. Link in the description. Get a Turner Pro. Those are really good. Curved brushes go crazy. You can get a um, you can get a palm brush if you want to, but I personally love the curved brushes. So I also want to show y'all guys my shower setup. I have a shower filter on my shower setup, like on the shower head. Um, normally I tighten it when I replace the filter, but it's really good for your hair quality. If you live somewhere where the water is like harsher, definitely invest in one of those. And even if you don't, just get it. And then I also use a dial men soap three in one. This is really good if you are like your skin is like oily. It's very, very good because it's not as much like oil and it gets straight to the point. You don't have to use a lot of products. So I love that. It's really straight, simple to a point. And uh, yeah, so after that, I took my shower, pretty much drying out, and then I use my castor oil. This is a major thing, major key. If you want your hair to be moisturized throughout the day to where you don't have to continuously put products in or you don't have to continuously keep brushing. If you just want to make sure your scalp and your hair is conditioned, definitely get that. It's very, very good. I always use it. Um, it's just that I you get it from a dollar store. It's really cheap And then as your shower you want to put it in because this is when your hair is the most porous like that's when you put the products in and it comes in the best so um, You know, I take my direct shower and then my hair is a little bit more poofy But that means my pores are open. So definitely put in the the olive oil or the castor or whatever you use But I say castor oil olive oil and then the shea moisture that's goaded. That goes crazy. Definitely recommend you get that. If you don't have it, definitely pick that up. It's going to be in the description, so definitely check that out. But, yeah, man, I just this is my time to really put the products back in. Like, I have a little bit more moisture. And next thing I do is a short, uh, curling gel souffle. This is a shea moisture product. I recommend this or the curling hands of smoothie. It doesn't really take much, man. You don't have to spend too much money on products. And a lot of products are at the dollar store. I do want to do a video on that and show y'all, like, it's a lot of good things at the dollar store. But Shea Moisture is really good for the natural stuff. So definitely check that out if you're really, really big on natural. And then the next product I pretty much use is going to be the, this is, uh, it's like pretty much like a deodorant. It's like a certain dry. This is really, really good. Like, if you're in, like, hotter climates or you work out a lot, like, you're always, like, kind of going from one gym to the next gym. This is really, really good to where you don't have that like sticky feeling. So it's like a roll on and it's really, really good. 
it's really, really good. So I definitely recommend that if you work out, do sport, especially if you do sports. You know, all my high school guys, middle school guys, if you do sports, college guys, if you definitely pick that up if you do sports, like hands down. So as I like go out through the morning, I'm starting to notice like me putting a product in, like I'm starting to notice that like I don't have to put much in. So that's my tip to you is like when you're wearing your do-rag and you have the product, it like saves in the progress so you don't have to do too much. But uh, I definitely wanted to speak more onto the uh, the castor oil um, and like why I do it. So as I was saying before, this is like a hair and scalp conditioner. This is very, very important to making sure that your hair is moisturized. Like I do this like every day to castor oil. And then, you know, if I need to wash my hair, I'll do that too. But having these two products is going to lock in moisture on a daily basis to where you can just simply do a brush session and you're good. Like you don't have to keep washing hair. You don't have to feel to keep touching your hair, feeling like if it's like dry or not. Or, you, you know, you don't have to worry about your waves not shining. Like just having that, like make sure your scalp is conditioned and then uh, kept up with, you're good, bro. Like you don't have to do much, I'm telling you. And then I use my Torino Pro Curve brush. As I said before, that's just best with the angles. As you can see, the curvature of the brush is just really good and it's just consistent and I love it. It's in the description. And um, definitely get that. Just get a curved brush. Don't get a straight brush because if you want to switch to like 540s or 360, it's going to be a harder transition because you got to kind of figure out how your angles are. And, you know, a straight brush may not be able to get those angles as you need them. So definitely check that out. And then once I got all the products in, I don't put too much in, like smaller than a dime size amount is what I recommend to you. Don't put too much in because, you know, you may want to do this when you come back home, forever you got, when, forever you being out or whatever. So don't put too much in. But um, after that, I seal in the moisture again. Like that's another thing that a Durac does and why we wear it is like after you put the products in, you seal in the moisture. And even though it's the morning, I may go somewhere and I want to make sure my hair is like on point. So I do this by locking in the moisture because, you know, you took a shower, like the moisture makes your hair kind of poof up a little bit. So this is going to lay it back down. So definitely get in the habit of putting a do-rag on again until you go back out so you can take it out then. So definitely get into that. It helps out a ton. And then I just ended out like my morning just to get like some water. Get some ice cold water. Make sure I drink water in a glass too. Make sure you drink water in a glass. Uh, I use a mason jar. Like it just tastes better for me, and then it's like a fresher, clean feeling. So definitely drink short water. Make sure you're drinking enough water, and then that definitely helps out with uh, making sure your hair is moisturized as well because you're putting in natural substances and then you know nutrition and all that. So make sure you're drinking water. Drink eight. You know, drink as much as you can. You know, what I mean, just want to make sure you're put it in good stuff and don't drink too much soda bro and you're gonna be good because that also causes acne so that's another video but yeah don't sleep on the water the water keeps the skin clear you know what i'm saying the hair wavy so you want that and that's it man so that's the end of the video make sure you like comment subscribe i'll see you in my next video thanks so much i'm out